All right, somebody asked me how I do my rigs. Uh, I, I always uh, check my rigs before I go back out like on a fishing trip. I don't really have a fishing trip planned as, uh, as of right now, but uh, I'm going to get them ready. But anyway, I was looking at them <clears throat> and I always change the monofilament on mine, but, but you see this uh, fuzzy braid right there? Kind of hard to see right here uh that's all bad you probably break that i don't know maybe i can't but yeah i can't but but it's not near as strong as it ought to be so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this dude off up here i'm gonna throw all this away i'll keep the floats and stuff i ain't gonna reuse any of that i like to start off with all brand new all brand new, good and sharp, everything. Just because, because, uh, well, that's just the way I am. I don't keep up with it. You know, these are the, this is the Boss Hog prototype rod. It's, uh, I don't have one of the new fancy ones yet, but awesome pole for bumping and suspended. I guess everything. All right. We're gonna start off fresh. I'm gonna grab me a, a swivel. I guess I should have had all this stuff out and ready. Use Palmar knot, which is basically you make a big long loop. You uh, stick the line through here. Just do an overhand knot. There's a million videos on how to tie a Palmar knot or Palmar, Pal, however you say it back through the loop a little moisture spit give it some real good jerks just make sure that it's set and ain't gonna come loose on you all right now what we're gonna do I, I like long leaders I use Andy use Andy 60 pound 60 pound leader I use a 50 pound mainline braid of course uh these knots i think they're called maybe a trilene knot or a cinch knot whatever you spin it around give it a good jerk always burn your tag in that'll lose your fish if you don't especially if you're tying them in the boat if you're tying them in the boat i tie them a little different i'll tie this one the way i tie them in the boat because uh, I worry about them slipping. Like if I tie them right now, they're gonna sit and that monofilament has got memory in it and it won't, it won't, it's not near as likely to slip. All right, now this is the way I tie, like if I'm in the boat. It's the same, same knot. You go through the bottom, but then this loop right here, you go back through this loop. Same, basically same thing, hold it with your fingers, I guess fit on it. Hold it with your fingers, pull that dude down. Just like that. Jerk on. I mean good. 60 pound line. You shouldn't be able to break it. Alright. Now see that one won't slip. It's not as pretty of a knot. But it won't slip. But still yet, always burn the tag ends down. That way they won't fit through the hole, if that makes sense. Alright. Now I use I use a ring like you got on your key rings. I, I, for the life of me, can't remember what they were called. Well, Dale's tackle has uh, has these uh, has these pliers, and they've got the see that little old hook thing on it. That's what that's for. Imagine that works like a champ. Pops that little D ring, or pops that uh, spring open. You stick your stick that on your swivel. like that not near as hard as I make it I tie all my rigs up ahead of time all right, I always bend to offset my hooks I don't do that ahead of time because they don't fit my rig wrap thing right but put a pretty good I put a pretty good offset in them all right stick this dude on here 
I do both of these at the same time out here, but out in the boat, see, all you gotta do is put one of these on there. So this is a little bit more difficult. Snap that dude on, grab a hold of the ring, give it a good spin, and you're ready to go. You got a brand new rig. I'm, I'm going, next time I go, I'm gonna go fishing some dead water. I use two hooks for two baits, more scent. A little floater to make it float. Like I said, I like rattles. Some people don't, I do. Uh, very long leader. I don't know how long that is. Probably three and a half, four foot. <clears throat> but there's the rig. That's how I rig up. Thank you very much.